Alright mate, Slymade here and welcome back to Smash Bros World of Light. Now, quick update, I am still recovering from being sick. So, um, let's um, fight Calamity Grenando, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Vine Sauce reference, that's like the 20th one in this series, I guess. But this is going to be um, interesting. It's another legend class. I guess we could do that. <laughs> this is... This is actually a lot more easier than I was anticipating, to be honest. Now, just if I could... Come on, Zelda! You ruined that for me! We were winning and then you decided to die! We were one hit away from winning as well. And then you decided to do that. What if I spoil your fun and die first, Zelda? How do you like that? Continue. At this time, we're actually going to have a serious attempt at not just like mess around. Ready? Go! There we go, there's a solid chunk of damage. And there's another solid chunk of damage. There's another solid chunk of damage. Did we both grab at the same time and then it is prioritised? Zelda, stay out of this. Didn't break Ganon's in the heck. So there's another legend class spirit under our belt or whatever. And let's get that going on down this place I guess. Fight this guy. Looks like a bootleg cloud just somewhere. I think he's from Golden Sun this guy. The only thing I know about Golden Sun is that there's this one track in it that was used in this really weirdly specific Squirtle animation that I watched in like 2013 or something. You know, if that would have landed, that would have been pretty neat, that. Oh, he's just got stuck up there. Into the stars we are. <laughs> like I threw a miniature sun at him. <laughs> threw a miniature sun at him and ping ponged him into like, I don't know, um, Sirius or Glee or whatever. <laughs> Which one is this now? Is this the one where I have to go like. Or is it the other way around? Or not to... There's a specific way to do this one and I'm just trying to remember like there we go secret spirit you can actually just like brute force these and just find them really easily like what I was doing then Anyway, we've got um, Impa, that one character that everyone wants in Smash Bros for some reason. There's a Sheik Echo Fighter. Ready, go. There's one thing, like, Sheik kind of bugs me in Smash Bros. Not too much as she used to in Smash 4. But, like, in what's it called? In Smash 4, I just did not like how Sheik moved. Just played really awkwardly, so just. Oh! 
Oh, I see what you're up to then. Where's the one that fell down here? I remember once getting hit by one of them skin seed things. Deku nuts and someone yelling D's nuts. <laughs> Which is ironic, like pretty much what Spun Seed is backwards. The fact that the final hitbox of that collided is like a surprise. Going for the, the true combo there, Sheep, we see. I'm, I'm just gonna like break the neck regardless. I <laughs> grab her out with the what's it called out of the air dodge. Doesn't matter. <laughs> No, no, that was pretty neat, that. I'll take that. I think Incineroar is just outright the slowest character in the game. I want to say there's like an additional thing that I have to do. This. It's so good that you can just like run around in a circle like this and then... Oh, is that... <laughs> Is that the other thing? Is this like part of the clue or something? Yeah, I think we did it backwards. So anyway, we've got this guy who looks like he's designed by Finger. He has like... No, actually let's change that. I thought he had belts on him. I was going to say... <laughs> Looks like he's designed by the Final Fantasy guy who sticks belts on everything. The guy who designed Cloud, Sora, and Sephiroth actually. There's actually a, like, a really funny story about him. Apparently, people notice that he just like put belts on like every. I've never seen that hit two characters at once. That. Um, but the thing is, apparently, what happened. People started getting mad that he started just putting belts on everyone. And what happened then was um, he put belts on everyone and people started getting mad. So he then just started putting belts on more characters out of spite. And then I think then what happened then is they designed Lulu for Final Fantasy X. And her design is literally just made her entire dress out of belts. So. <laughs> He does have some like really wacky designs though, because I'm pretty sure there's a character called like Nooch or something. He's just like wearing a baby girl or something. <laughs> but he's also got like he's got dreadlocks, he's got like a metallic arm, he's got a walking cane. Well, it's not so much dreadlocks, he's got a single dreadlock. Um, and then he's got like belts on his metallic arm as well. And like, I've not played every single Final Fantasy game. I'd love to though, because I actually really like the Final Fantasy games. But um, there's just something really funny about how silly the designs get. So which one is this now? As Elf, is this the guy who explodes? <laughs> I say that as a joke because it just like threw him into oblivion, but like that's the one thing that Azelf is like really good at in like competitive Pokemon. Just throw Azelf into the battle and he just like, explodes into chunks. I don't even know why that's like the role people gave it. Like to be honest, because like stuff like Golem, Gigalith, Electro, they're stuff that you know for exploding, but it's like. I just heard the glory Zelda or whatever. I'm just going for that neutral B constantly. As Zelda's often do. Oh, she almost saved me then. I was trying to go for the funny stomp, but didn't pan out, did it? 
It's one thing. I tend to find that whenever I get defeated on this, is it's always because I'm trying to style on the opponent because I'm bad at spiking. But I still try and do it anyway. It's because they always air dodge out of it as well. I'm still gonna try and go for it. Unless she just dies. Great. Thanks, Incineroar. So, anyway, we'll be swapping on to Zelda now. And we've got one of the lucky triangles. The, um, I think that's the um, cool original flavoured Dorito. Could be wrong. Um, there's like three triangles in Zelda, like three Doritos, or three magic Doritos, I believe. <laughs> Obviously, no, they're actually called the Triforce, but. <laughs> it's funny just thinking like magic power in Zelda comes from Doritos. So, moving along, do we actually have like any more spirits in this area? There's actually someone else over there that we can beat up. Let's see who we can beat up and let's destroy this little girl. <laughs> it's so weird hearing like being able to save the same Smash Bros. Let's destroy a child. You know what? Little child get mauled by angry chickens. That almost killed! <laughs> you know what? We're gonna destroy a child with some chickens actually. Victory! <laughs> it's just, like absurd that just feeding a child some chickens. <laughs> So anyway, we've got a Fire Emblem character number 729 here. I actually don't know how many Fire Emblem characters there are, but it's probably around about the same bottle pack. I think this is like that whole like Japanese trope of like maids and butlers like being super competent at literally everything ever. But that one isn't because it just launched them into space, so. I don't think the average um, butler I made is that competent in space travel. So anyway, we've got the um, the speed rodent here. I know hedgehogs aren't actually rodents, so actually part of um, the class Insectivora, I believe. Same thing that bats come under, but. Um, It would have been funner if you rolled directly into the um But anyway we've got him signature spin dash the character here. Do not steal. Come on, I can't go talking about Sonic without mentioning that. It is it is just genuinely a requirement to make a joke about original character. Do not steal or whatever the way that one comic says it. He's actually really hard to deal with because he just... Well, I say that, but just like punch him in there. Every single time I'm about to get a KO, that bomb just spawns. It's like, oh, did you need me? We're swapping on to Sonic in a minute, but we've got another character that we're going to be unlocking. Oh, we've got um, Zelda vs. Hilda now. Um, it's like alternate reality fight something. And we also have what's it called Raviola, except not the, uh, the other <laughs> Ravioli that's in Zelda. Can I just like spam F Smash while I'm here and just like 
still do a lot of damage. Come on, let's come down to the Hyrule Fight Club. Scared of coming down here, she already knows what's gonna happen to her. You know what? In you go. Bye bye. Victory. This reminds me of what is it now that um, is it Kikoho or whatever? Or is that? I think that's like. That's either the Dragon Ball thing that I'm trying to reference with that TN as. Um, we still need something else to get there. Um, or, that's the Chun Li um, projectile thing. And I can't remember which one's which. We heard a double dragon, now let's get ready for quadruple dragon. <laughs> Did Charizard just die from nothing? Did Zelda just like backhand Charizard and Charizard just, just like gave up? <laughs> anyway, we could do with a TM default here. We got Bull Barbie. <laughs> Someone on the Smash Bros Discord that I'm in has a Bull Barb icon, and the other day I saw it in my peripheral vision and was just like really compelled to draw a quick sketch of a Bull Barb on a toilet. <laughs> so that's now a thing that exists. Oh, I thought I was going to do a, a no damage run with this. It would have been pretty cool if it did a no damage run with that, to be honest. But. So, what's this one say? Okay, then. Let's see. Beat up. Quite definitely not Luigi in a, a silly mask. I'm actually surprised Mr. L wasn't actually included as a. Costume for Luigi. Victory! I like how I barely just skimmed him with the what's it called. I can't think of the word skim without that one stupid, like, I think it was like a Reddit post. And it was, it was something really simple, like, um, it was on the Thomas the Plank Engine, which is like one of my favourite subreddits. Um, it's literally just like weird stuff people have dreamt about. Um, someone said there was a Twitter update that added um, a little notification on the side of everyone's name at like what the favourite preference of milk was. And people on the platform in the dream were getting like bullied over drinking skimmed milk. So that one scene of like Lord Farquaad from Shrek, like pointing forward, but he's just going skip, <laughs> and people were getting like ratioed on Twitter with it. <laughs> and then I think there was another one with Elon Musk where someone dreamt that um, people were saying like Linus plus ratio or something, and it was literally just like. Linus, the blanket guy from Snoopy. I was waiting for that. He died on impact! <laughs> Dude took a Dorito to the school and just evaporated. <laughs> Oh, this is a fun fight. I hate this fight. Oh, 
This is genuinely one of them fights that I look at. Uh. He just stays out of the way the entire time. And, just... and then you got like. It becomes tiny and then you. Micro Kong over here. It just is evasive the entire match. And you have like a whole five seconds to beat it in. Also, Diddy's up B just becomes amazing at what's it called. Um, in both low gravity and when tiny. Diddy can literally just fly across the entirety of the stage, so he becomes unpredictable. Five, four, three, two, we got it! That's what he gets for being small. <laughs> See what this one says. She's just there. We go jump into the swimming pool, and uh, we found this another green gnome child. <laughs> this is actually something I joked about earlier. I said the gnome child from RuneScape could make for a funny mod on the. Uh, Young Link. I was wondering what hit me then. How the both of block it. I'm just like wildly flying around there because I can't tell what's going on. There's two Link, a young Link gone, and there's Isabel just like disintegrating into clouds or something. I guess. So anyway, there's one thing done, and there's another fun little secret around here actually. Which I believe, if we open this and then hop in, we get to fight the funny man. We swap into this, move that, we don't really need that anymore. And um, we get a new. Um, just spin ball the character here. Every single time I think of like Sonic Spinball, I think of the option menu music. Ready? Go! How did he even get hit by that first one? <laughs> I think he just like kicked out at the wrong timing for that. If it just didn't do that kick, I would have won instantly. <laughs> Ready? Go! Kick him over there. Just nudge him a little bit. So after all, it's Chrome, we don't really need to do too much to him to throw him off the ledge. Go to the other side of the stage, Chrome. I need to do something funny. 
Or do what you did like a few episodes ago where you just threw yourself off the cliff yourself. Yeah, dodge, that's a problem, that. We'll just throw a gun at his head. We won't even shoot him, we'll just throw it at his head. So anyway, um, Chrom obtained, and we'll be um, ending off the episode there. So if, if you like that episode or something, um, don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe, and punch that bell, and all them kind of nonsense stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.